The Novikov Telegram. Sender, Nikolai Novikov, Soviet Ambassador to the United States. Date, September the 27th, 1946. To the Soviet leadership. Intercept 1. Obvious indications of U.S. effort to establish world dominance are also to be found in the increase in military potential in peacetime in the establishment of a large number of naval and air bases both in the United States and beyond its borders. In the summer of 1946, for the first time in the history of the country, Congress passed a law on the establishment of a peacetime army, not on a volunteer basis, but on the basis of universal military service. The size of the army, which is supposed to amount to about one million persons as of July the 1st, 1947, was also increased significantly. Intercept 2. U.S. foreign policy has been characterized in the post-war period by a desire for world domination. This is the real meaning of repeated statements by President Truman and other representatives of American ruling circles, that the U.S. has a right to world leadership. All the forces of American diplomacy, the Army, Navy, and Air Force, industry, and science have been placed in the service of this policy. Intercept 3. At the present time, the USSR has a considerably stronger international position than in the pre-war period. Thanks to the historic victories of Soviet arms, the Soviet armed forces are on the territory of Germany and other former enemy countries, a guarantee that these countries will not be used again to attack the Soviet Union. As a result of their reorganization on democratic principles in such former enemy countries such as Bulgaria, Finland, Hungary and Romania, regimes have been created which have set themselves the task of strengthening and maintaining friendly relations with the Soviet Union. Intercept 4. The situating of American bases on islands, often 10 to 12,000 kilometers from U.S. territory and located on the other side of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, clearly shows the aggressive nature of the strategic designs of the U.S. Army and Navy. The fact that the U.S. Navy is studying the naval approaches to European shores in a concentrated manner is also confirmation of this. All these facts clearly show that their armed forces are designed to play a decisive role in the realization of plans to establish American world domination. It ought to be fully realized that the American preparations for a future war are being conducted with the idea of a war against the Soviet Union, which in the eyes of American imperialists is the chief obstacle in the American path to world domination. Such facts as the tactical training of the U.S. Army for war with the USSR as a future enemy, the situating of American strategic bases in regions from which strikes can be launched on Soviet territory, the intensified training and reinforcement of Arctic regions, as tactical approaches to the USSR and attempts to pave the way in Germany and Japan to use them in a war against the USSR testify to this.